guys, I'm here in the East Village in New York and the secret is that DJ Alex Alvin is about to do a free show in the park. So don't tell anybody, but come meet me in about 20 minutes and I'll get you the backstage pass to see him on stage. See you soon. Hey guys, this is Spencer Rose with the Stage Buddy Events Picks for the week of October 14th. This Wednesday, join personal style expert and best-selling author Jackie Stafford for a cocktail party at a Swarovski boutique, where she will share with you this fall's top trends and beauty tips. Then, once you're all dolled up on Thursday, go check out the teens aged 16 to 19 compete for the title of NYC Youth Poet Laureate. The free, always a good thing, poetry slam held at the David Rubenstein Atrium at Lincoln Center is sure to be both exhilarating and inspirational. Hey guys, this is Spencer Rose with the music picks for the week of October 28th. On Wednesday, the rustic charm that is Yonder Mountain String Band comes to Brooklyn Bowl for a night of rootsy American tradition. Now, with a progressive edge, this band reminds everyone that bluegrass ain't dead. <laughs> then on Saturday, J. Roddy Walston and the business make their way back to New York, headlining the Bowery Ballroom for a rockin' good time. Now, having performed at major music festivals like Bonnaroo, this group knows a thing or two about electrifying a crowd. For more information on these events, check out the full listings at stagebuddy.com and have an entertaining week. Jen, you have students in Broadway shows, off-Broadway shows, regional stock productions. You, you really have a great track record of inspiring your students to success, specifically in the audition room. So I was wondering if you could give our viewers a few tips about making the most out of their audition experience. Yes. Where to begin? <laughs> I will say that every audition is an opportunity for human beings to connect to each other. So, so what's something an actor can do right away to get the creative team on their side? So I would say if you walk in and you assess the room, you actually look at it and you say, what's going on in this room that I'm walking into right now? And you see a window of opportunity. I would say, open your mouth and say hello. Is there a point where you can take it too far? You know, can you go up and shake the hands of everybody and take a seat? Or are there certain standards you need to follow? Yes, and I do think that people go too far when they're not actually behaving how they would behave. When choosing material for your audition, how important is, is it to stick to the guidelines that they ask for? And when can you go outside of those guidelines and choose something that maybe you think showcases you better that's not necessarily you know, 32 bars of the pop rock from yeah. the 70s? Yeah. Well, I'm sure a lot of people are not going to enjoy this answer, but I don't really believe in the guidelines. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the seventh annual Crunchies Awards. My name is Spencer Rose, and when I was asked to come and help open up the Crunchies, I said, absolutely. And then I said, what exactly is that? <clears throat> and then uh, my friends had told me that it was, it was really Tech's biggest night out. And I got really excited because I realized the Crunchies are an awards show unlike any other awards show. You know, the Oscars have their movies. The Tonys have their songs. <laughs> the Crunchies, they can be anything. Plus, the women's bathroom line is never long. Am I right, Alexia? Lean in, girl. So here I am to celebrate this special night with you. Let's have some fun and recognize our technical issues. For more information on these events, check the full listings at stagebuddy.com and have an awesome, awesome week.